We are in Microsoft Outlook 2013 and we're going to show you how to create a rule in Outlook that will allow us to automatically move folders or move email to specific folders and we can also tell it to do other things as well. So before we get started, I earlier created a folder under the inbox called business which will come into play in a little bit. So let's go ahead and click on the file menu at the top and then make sure we're on the info tab and then click on manage rules and alerts. Now we have a new rule option because there's no rules currently in there. So let's go ahead and click a new rule. And you'll see there's lots of different options uh, to create rules. So let's go ahead and start with the one at the top, which says move messages from someone to a folder. And there's other options as well. And as you click through these different options, you see the bottom area changes to reflect that particular one you want. So let's go ahead and highlight the first one again, move messages from someone to a folder. Let's go ahead and create a rule based on that. So apply this rule with mess when messages arrive from, and we're going to click on that link, and we're going to choose uh, someone. In this case, we'll choose the administrator. And so now anytime the administrator sends us an email, we're going to move it to a specified folder. So let's call click on that, and let's choose our business folder, which I created earlier. Go ahead and click OK. So once again, apply this rule after the message arrives from administrator, move it to the business folder. I go ahead and click next. Now we can, we can also have additional conditions as well. We can say sent only to me as opposed to sent to a group, or my name is in the to box marked as important. So you can change that as well. All different kinds of additional parameters you can put in, and you can definitely play with this to see uh, if you can get it the way you want it. Go ahead and click next. There's a different different uh, parameters here. This is what do you want to do with the message. So once you get it, do you want it to go to the specified folder, which we did? Do you want it to delete it, permanently delete it, various different other things as well. So we're going to keep with what we have. Go ahead and click next. And then you can say if there's any exceptions. So except if it is marked as importance, for instance, would be like if you have an urgent email from an administrator, you may not want to move it into the business folder. Uh, and there's all the different other kinds of exceptions here as well. Let's go ahead and click Next. And we'll just call it uh, Administrator to Business Folder. And if we want to run on uh, messages already in the inbox, inbox, you can choose that as well. So turn on this rule, make sure that's turned on, and then click Finish, and then Apply. So now our rule is ready to go, and uh, if it, an, an email comes from the administrator, it will get moved into the business folder. So let's go ahead and click on it, create another rule, so slightly different parameters. You can see there's an email from me to this particular user, admin. And let's, let's go ahead and make a rule based on that information. So click on Manage Rules and Alerts again. Click on New Rule. And this time we're going to choose the next option, which is move messages with specific words in the subject of a folder, or uh, we can actually change that to you know, be something else as well. So let's go ahead and check what our email says in the subject. It says Meeting Room 4. Okay, so we're going to make it based on that. So let's go ahead and click on new rule, move messages with specific words. So specific words is going to be meeting. Go ahead and click add. If we want, we can add additional words as well. So make sure it's you notice that it says that specific words in the subject to a folder, not in the body. That's a little bit different, although that is also an option. So we want to move that into the business folder. So click on the specific one and click on business. And now click next. And again, there's more parameters we can check, but we're not going to because we've already got the rule just the way we want it. Next, next, and uh, we'll call it uh, meeting. And we'll tell it to also run this rule now on messages already in the inbox. Let's go ahead and check that box and click finish. And then we'll go ahead and click apply. And make sure the box is checked that it's uh, also turned on. And now we'll go back to our inbox and we see our inbox is blank. And if we click on business, we can see our email has moved into the business folder. So feel free to go in and uh, play around with the rules, make them the way you want, and then you can definitely organize your emails as they come in a lot better.